Is that comfortable there? Yeah. Now my heart's okay. racing. <laughs> Just relax and tell the truth. Okay. I'm not scared. <laughs> You're scared. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Let's do it. Let's just go. Let's go. Is your name Dua Lipa? Yes. Are you 25 years old? Yes. Are you ready to take this lie detector test? Yes. All right, we're calibrated. Let's go with your career. For your first album, you performed 245 live shows. Yeah. Was that too many? It was a lot. I don't know, yeah, it was quite a lot. I mean, I don't regret any of those shows, but there were moments where I felt definitely a bit run down. When you were feeling run down, you ever fall down on stage? I have tripped on stage. I actually fell going up some stairs. I went down to the crowd, I was like singing with everyone and I got so excited I was gonna run back up on stage, miss the step, fell on my knees, got back up, carried on singing. As if nothing had happened, but yes. Yikes. You ever forget the lyrics to one of your songs? Yes. More than once. <laughs> the worst bit is when you forget the lyrics and then you look out into the crowd in the hopes that someone's gonna like sing the lyrics back and they're like literally mouthing the words to you and you still don't know the words. That's uh, perfect when that happens. Speaking of the crowd, you ever lock eyes with an attractive person out there and, you know, flirt? Not to flirt, but people in the crowd, I, I think, what? I'm not, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> I haven't locked eyes with anyone to flat in the crowd. Inconclusive. Inconclusive? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> you sing the lyrics, if you're under him, you ain't getting over him. <laughs> yes. Is this something you've learned from experience? Maybe. Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> Have you ever called someone because you were drunk and alone? Yes, but my friends, actually. I think it's kind of worse that I kind of in full consciousness call people like that I shouldn't instead of being drunk and having an excuse. Like normally if I'm drunk and alone, I call my friends to like wail about something. But, so I don't know what's better, actually. In your song, Levitating, you use the affectionate term, sugar boo. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever called a significant other, sugar boo? Yes, as a joke, just for fun, I have. What are the qualities of a Sugar boo. Sweet little teddy bear, cute sugar boo. <laughs> you won the Grammy for the best vocal album this year. Would you say awards are important to you? Um, I don't like to base my success on awards but it definitely does feel really nice to be recognized for something that I'm really passionate about. So I guess in that way, yes. Did you prepare a speech just in case you won? Yes, I did. <laughs> because I get really scared sometimes talking in public. And I, I wrote down little notes and then it was kind of a little bit of everything that I had written down to try put into one. You ever rewatch your speech after you gave it? Yes because a lot of the time I feel like I blacked out in the moment. And so I'm, I always ask like, was it okay? Did I thank everyone? <laughs> and um, so yes, I do go back and watch them. Now let's do pop culture. You grew up in the UK. Does that mean you're a fan of Love Island? Mm, no, I've never watched Love Island before. What about Geordie Shore? No. Have you ever watched any British reality TV? 
No, I don't really watch reality TV. Apart from 90 Day Fiance, I have to say. As a fellow pop singer, are you a fan of Britney Spears? Yes. Did you watch her documentary, Framing Britney Spears? Yes. Are you a part of the Free Britney movement? 1,000%. Do you think her Instagram posts have hidden secret messages? <laughs> um, oh, I mean, I hope not because that would make me really sad, but at some point, I mean, if yes, then we're listening and we're watching and we're here for, for Britney. I don't know the answer to that. Do you hide secret messages in your Instagram posts? <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes secret messages alluding to, to different things or, yeah, sometimes I do enjoy a little bit of code. Is that true, Bridget? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> See? Up next, your life. Have you ever gotten a tattoo while under the influence? I've given a tattoo under the influence, but I don't think I have done one myself. Smart. Do you think getting a tattoo with a significant other is bad luck? I don't think so. You don't sound too confident. I'm pretty confident. I think it's fine. I mean, look, now there's tattoo removal, so... In 2018, you were given the keys to your town in Kosovo. Mm. Do you know where that key is today? Yes, I do. It's, um, it's on my bookcase, like in the little bookcase area in my living room. Um, but I'm having my flat renovated at the moment, so I might not be there right now, but that's the last place I know it was. Have you ever snuck into a place you weren't supposed to be? Uh, yes. Yes. Where? <laughs> I, I don't know, like, um, well, the place, it was quite, quite funny, actually. It was just this one tent at a festival in 2014, but it was like wristband only, so I snuck under the tent and I got caught the second I went under the tent and I got kicked out. So I definitely snuck in where I wasn't meant to sneak in and I got told. Your zodiac sign is a Leo. Mm -hmm. Do you identify with your sign? I'm yes and no. I'm Leo, but I'm also a Vir like Leo Virgo cusp. So I do think I'm a little bit both, but there are lots of Leo qualities I feel like I identify with, especially in my work. That's where I feel like I identify with it the most. So would you say you love to be the center of attention? No, not always. Might be guilty. I don't. <laughs> I'm Honestly, it depends. It depends. Like sometimes I like to be the center of attention and sometimes I just like to be invisible. Do you think it's healthy to date someone according to your Zodiac compatibility? <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. Um, I definitely <laughs> feel like I've checked my compatibility based on star signs. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I've done it. <laughs> Guilty. But <laughs> I, um, I feel like there's a lot more to a person than just a star sign. Don't forget, we have risings and moon signs too. You signed your first recording contract when you were working as a hostess in a cocktail bar. Is that correct? Yes. Would you say the customer is always right? No, not always right. Sometimes a customer is a dick, but you just have to go with it. You just have to let it, you know, it's fine. Would you say that you're extra nice to hostesses and waitresses now? Yes, definitely. Always? Yeah, I don't think I've, I've, I've yes. 
I am always nice. At any point during this interview, did you lie and we didn't catch you? No. You've been pretty truthful the whole way through. Not bad, Dua. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. That's okay. That's okay.